my name is Björn Geldof. I'm the artistic director of the Pinchukat Center. At the age of 18, I thought I should study law because I was very interested in it. I thought it would be a very good career for myself and my parents were very happy. As a reward, they gave me a trip with my two best friends to Paris. And when I arrived in Paris, I discovered that Paris has more to offer than just the tower, the Eiffel Tower or the Seine. But I went to a museum called Musée d'Orsay. And in Musée d'Orsay, I discovered something I didn't know. I discovered art. At that point, I understood this is something I need to know more about. I need to know more about it because it changes the way I think, it changes the way I look at things. And from one moment to the other, I came home and I informed my parents, well, I think law I can do at any time in my life. I would like to study art history. My first step into contemporary art as, as, a, as a professional was making exhibitions. And I was very young, I was, I think, at that age, um, I was 19 when I started to make my first exhibition. So for the first time I was confronted with what it means to deal with people who have conflicting ambitions. It was a very interesting process, one in which I made many mistakes, but also one that was very exciting where I learned to work with artists and where I discovered um, there was something incredibly intriguing, motivating inside of working with contemporary art. So I discovered that contemporary art gave me a certain passion, that it gave me an energy to do more than uh, what I would usually do. And like this, my career developed. I started making a second exhibition in Ithaca, and from there I was asked by an artist called Jan Fabre. It was a very interesting moment because he was an artist to whom I looked up. It was an artist who I believed was one of the foremost artists from Belgium and um, was very passionate about what he does. But I also discovered he was someone who challenged. He was someone who gave freedom, but also had high expectations. And the second person I met who was very important for me uh, in, my, in my career development uh, was Eckhart Schneider. When I met Eckhart Schneider, I discovered a completely different type of leader. I discovered an intellectual. I discovered someone who was capable of thinking strategically about institution building, etc., etc. And immediately when I met him, I understood this is someone I want to work with. Because he would approach leadership in a very different way. And I was lucky as Eckhart offered me to join him here in Ukraine. And together with Eckhart, I came here, or a little bit after Eckhart came to Ukraine, I came here and I met Viktor Pinchuk, who is again a different type of leader. And I started to work at the Pinchuk Art Center, of which today I am the director.